The Quick Select tool is the fourth tool over on the CS3 toolbar and it is a brand new tool to CS3 and it lives in the same place that the Magic Wand tool lives and the Quick Select tool allows you to paint like a paintbrush uh, to make a selection. Uh, it's like if the magic wand were able to be a paintbrush instead of clicking and holding down shift and adding to your selection and just multiple clicking and going crazy. It's actually a, a fairly smart uh, tool that allows you to just paint across the area that you want and it will select like pixels. And uh, let me show you how you use that. So I'm going to type Z so that I can zoom in and I want to zoom into this area because this is the part I want and uh, unlike in my class demo where I chose the background I was still in the mindset actually of using the magic wand tool as opposed to the quick select tool I'm going to um, select the hand and the bird instead of its background so W is the keyboard shortcut to get you back there and the left and right bracket keys will make your uh, brush size get bigger or smaller and if you use the left bracket it's going to make your key or your brush smaller use the right bracket key it's going to make it larger and depending on how large or small your brush is that is uh, how large or small your selection will be and then just click and drag click hold and drag and I'm selecting that hand you can see fairly no muss no fuss and uh, I'm not going to do this perfectly but close enough so you get the idea and I'm not holding down the shift key or anything to add to my selection go away okay yes I know I'm getting low on my C drive okay and let me use that left bracket key to make this smaller come up in here and start choosing my bird which will be added to my selection and come out here and grab some of that tail and come over here and grab some of that beak and notice how it popped from the beak all the way to the finger meaning this area is now selected too I don't want that area selected hold down the alt key to subtract from your selection and you'll see how you can easily get rid of parts and it's easy to get rid of parts you might not want to get rid of so be careful control Z works make the brush even smaller Z zoom in even further and uh, this is welcome to Photoshop in the world of raster imaging and pixels it's a little hard to tell what you're looking at when you're zoomed in this far but um, I can sort of tell this is what I want so W to get the magic wand tool back and I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to select some more of this leg area and that's probably good enough control zero to see the entire image and I can come over here to refine edge if I want and I can play with these I use this setting I like to see it my selection on a black background so I can see what's going on and for the purposes of this particular demo that's probably good enough you can see what my settings are radius 1.1 contrast 57 percent smooth 6 feather 3.4 pixels and uh, contract or expand is negative 4 and say OK and that makes my selection and control J puts that selection onto its own background turn off the background and there we can see that selection now if I want to test it I can add a new layer above the background come over here choose my favorite hideous green as a lovely complementary color alt backspace fill it and you can see I've got some issues right over here with the tail got cut off too much the beak got cut off but you can see with a little adjustment that that would uh, actually end up being a decent enough looking selection so that in a nutshell is how to use the quick select tool